Hey everybody, Jake here, and today we have a quick unboxing of a very, very special keyboard, one I've waited well over a year for. Um, real quick, the recording setup isn't super ideal because this thing is a lot bigger than stuff I normally review, so I'm not really super prepared for it, but we're going to try to make it work. Alright, let's go ahead and open this up. I don't think we're going to damage anything here. Feels like there's a box inside as well. All right. Needs just another quick cut here at the edge. There we go. All right, let me go and get this box out of here. Okay. This is a lot more beat up than I would have thought. Um, it's hard to see, but there are little dings everywhere. I'm going to open this up, and there's another box inside of this box. This is the Mass Drop slash ZS Lane Mercury Rocketeer. Um, when this got announced, I was very, very excited about this just because the color scheme is perfect for me, or at least I hope it is. Um, and I've been looking to try SA Profile keycaps and a hot swappable keyboard with USB Type-C port anyway. So this, uh, after I got over the price, I, I was pretty quick to jump on this one. Let's go ahead and take a look and see how to, okay, so it just has these little kind of hinges at the, it has some tape here as well. There we go. Lift this up and out of the way. And see if we can show you. So you can see the keyboard in its uh, little semi-translucent uh, paper sleeve here. Let me go ahead and pull it out. Oh, there's a lot of stuff in here. Okay. Oh, geez. Okay. Oh, goodness. Okay. Set that down here. Okay, what do we have here? I have... Oh, it is a keycap puller. It actually threads on. Um, I would say it was really nice, but it's bent all the hell, which is great uh, they do include another one as well let me see if this one's any better quality that one feels great but the the tines are very flimsy yeah this feels much better also have a uh, key switch remover because this board is hot swappable there's some bonus stuff here on the back let's see what we got the default layer. So this is just a quick instruction manual. Have a few extra keys here. And a braided gray USB Type-C cable. I will not need this because they did a custom cable for this keyboard. And I have ordered that. And the feet. How are the feet there? Oh, and how... Holy crap, that's heavy. And as a special uh, pre-order bonus... We get a shiny little Rocketeer key. So I'll be putting that on in just a moment. Let's go ahead and take a box. Oh, look. Um, I have Kaiwa or Kale. I don't remember. I think it's Kale. Uh, box whites on here, which I have not tried. So I'm very curious. I've also heard some complaints beforehand about this. So let's go ahead. This feels really good so far, I'm not going to lie. Um, this is a little bit of a lighter color than I than I thought it might be. Very okay. It's not bad. I'd heard some complaints about the stabilizers as well. These feel okay, except for the backspace. that feels like trash. The keycaps feel fantastic, though. 
Let's take a look at the keyboard real quick. So there's your USB type C port on either side. This thing is extremely, extremely heavy. Um, and then on the back you have Mercury Rocketeer and the serial number down here. Um, there are some feet. I'm guessing these are just additional feet that you can use for a height adjust. This is extremely, extremely heavy. I, I can't get over that. And it's gorgeous. Um, let me go ahead because the S key is flipped here. And I think this, yeah, the Z key appears to be as well. I'll have to take a look. But um, let's go ahead and take a look at the, the plate because I got this with a brass plate. So you can kind of see that there. Um, I'll give you a, a better shot here. Let me readjust this camera. All right, sorry about that. I wanted to readjust the camera real quick. Um, so if you didn't know, uh, these keys are SA Profile. So there are Signature Plastics, uh, SA Profile keycap. And let's see if I can get this into frame. You can see there the brass plate. I think it complements the color scheme very, very well. And um, when I go to do the actual review of this, I'll have a much better camera set up that actually gets the whole thing in frame. All right. Oh, the Z key as well. Let me check that one here. Come on. Apparently the X one to come off too. There we go. So um, initial impressions, it's it's really awesome. Um, was it worth the price? I don't know about that. We'll have to do the full review for that one. But yeah, this is the Mercury Rocketeer keyboard. Um, let me see if I can get one more good uh, zoomed out shot for you here so you can kind of get in. I'll just kind of lift it up off the table. That way you can get the whole keyboard and frame there. But yeah, if you have any questions about this, um, let me know. There will be a review in the coming weeks. I'm going to use this for, for work for a few weeks. And we will take it from there. But yeah, if you have any questions or anything like that, just let me know. Thanks, guys. Bye.